So now we are going to do our awesome volcano eruption. This is our classic volcano and it's a great recipe that will work every time. So let's get going. First thing we need is some soap. So we're going to use some dish soap and we need 10 milliliters of our dish soap. So I'm going to use our small 50 milliliter graduated cylinder and put 10 milliliters of soap right down into there. Perfect. And now I'm going to pour this into my Erlenmeyer flask. Now we have some different shapes of these flasks. This one has a very small mouth and small neck at the top which creates an even better explosion. So that's awesome. So the soap will just help our bubbles to form and look really cool like a volcano. And it'll help get a really good eruption. So now I've got my soap in there and we need to add our water as well. So we're gonna need 100 milliliters of water. So in our large graduated cylinder here, it says 500 milliliters, I'm going to add 100 milliliters. So grab your water and pour it right in here. Okay, I think I overshot a little bit. Let's pour a little bit back in there. Okay, very good. So now I'm going to pour my water right into my Erlenmeyer flask with my soap as well. All right, very good. So the next thing we need is some food coloring because everybody loves food coloring, right? And it's gonna make our volcano look awesome. So we're going to just put a few drops of our food coloring right on in here. Very good. Alright. Now we're going to roll on with our baking soda slurry. We're going to go ahead and make that up. So, slurry is a fancy word for our little mixture. So I just need a little cup here. This is a 9 ounce cup and some baking soda. Now we're going to fill the cup halfway full with baking soda and then we're also going to add some water to it as well. The very important thing to do is to get this mixture stirred up very well because you want to have the baking soda dissolved in the water as much as possible in creating your slurry because the more fluid it is flowing in there the better your results are going to be. So I've put my baking soda in here, and now I'm going to add my water into the cup. All right. A little bubbling action going on there. That's just fine. And give my baking soda slurry a nice stir. Now, we might come back to this and stir it another time before we put it in there, just to make sure that it gets nice and dissolved. You want this to be very well dissolved. All right, so there's the slurry. We're going to let it chill out there so it can dissolve a little bit more. And we need to add our vinegar to our solution. So we need 400 milliliters of vinegar. So right here on my graduated cylinder is 400. Go ahead and pour in our vinegar. All right. And we're going to add our vinegar to our water, soap, and food coloring. There we go. Almost got it all. Now, it's looking pretty good, isn't it? I think we're going to have a great volcano. So, we're going to put our Erlenmeyer flask into this black trough because we want it to catch any of the volcano that it can because we don't want a huge mess on the table. So another alternative is doing this experiment outside which is also really fun to do too. Then you don't have to worry about the volcano hitting the ceiling. Alright, another thing to remember is wearing goggles. Safety gear is also important to protect you. Alright, so I'm going to put on our safety goggles here. Alright, we're ready to go now. So, we can count down and get ready for our explosion. Five, four, three, two, one. And you're going to want to dump it really fast. Put your hand back. 